St. John the Baptist Church in Mallardale and falling in love with a church which mushrooms from an old quarry behind it. The church was built in 1887 and has a fairy tale quality with its oriole window and bell turret capped with a pyramidal lead roof. If you look close enough you'll spot the barley sugar chimney pot. One can't help but imagine a barn would have once stood in its location, as the cow trough is fed by spring water which filters across the lane. This once was a private church and the brainchild of Louisa Sophia Harris. She had an Anglo-Catholic chapel built at the end of a garden, after the vicar of St. Giles in Matlock refused to memorialise her pet dog, Vida. Looking close enough, you will find a tiny plaque under a side window to Vida. The architect who designed the church, its furniture and life fittings was Sir Guy Dawa. Whilst artists Lewis Davis, known as the last of the pre-Raphaelites, was called upon to create the stained glass window. The stained glass window represents the sacraments of baptism, marriage and the Eucharist. My favourite is the depiction of John the Baptist being a clean-shaven pre-Raphaelite angel with wings. John Cook was responsible for the painted altar and George Bancart, an expert in ornamental plaster work, modelled the embossed swallows and bands of roses and grapevines in a barrow vaulted ceiling. There is an awful lot of art and craft influence on the church and the Lewis Davis sacristy lamp the window clasps and the beautifully restored reared us. The church has a mish mash of styles from pre Raphaelite arts and crafts and art nouvelle. All these who worked on the church were friends of Mrs. Harris. It's a shame this enchanted church has to be kept locked because of vandalism. If you want to see the interior, contact friends of friendless churches. <laughs> 